Yeah. Let's yeah, get yeah, into yeah. some good news. So the, the yes. biggest story, the highlight of my week, the highlight of your week, the highlight PlayStation Showcase. Life. Kidding. <laughs> What'd you say? I said the highlight of my life. Just kidding. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> wasn't that great? You didn't seem that impressed when right. I called you mid-presentation. You are like, well, mm, it's okay. Yeah, because uh, I jumped in like part way through. So I jumped in when they, I missed the first two or three announcements, which were announcements that I would have been excited for. Mm -hmm. But after, <laughs> when I jumped in, it was like seven announcements that were trash. <laughs> there was some fluff. There was some fluff. Let's go over the highlights. I'm, yeah. I got a little list here. I'm just going to read them off. We have some stuff I'm not so excited about, but worth mentioning, and some stuff I'm really excited about. GTA V. Oh, yeah. March yeah. 2022. That's, I mean, can <laughs> we, we have, let's just end the episode right there. GTA V right. is coming in March. <laughs> For PS5. Uh, get used to the sound of that word, by the way. March 2022. Get, March. Used, to, get wow. used to hearing that. So GTA 5, PS5, and uh, Xbox, and whatever else, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gran Turismo 7, PS4 and PS5, March 2022. I've never been cool. a big Gran Turismo fan, but I know a lot of people are really excited about that. We got a gameplay trailer for Forspoken. Yeah. Now, you and I were talking a little bit about the trailer, and I tend to agree with you. I think that the gameplay itself and the traversal looks fantastic. I think mm -hmm. this would be a yeah. really interesting and neat single player experience i like that there is a black woman as a lead black girl magic i'm into it mm -hmm. i don't know if i like her character so much listening to her talk a bunch yeah. i know that you said she, she sounded like a white girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean again i and she could be yeah the voice actress could, also could be, be but, yeah but i, I feel like, like somebody would have pointed that out by now yeah i mean nadine you know. and uncharted was that's if they've released the cast list though mm -hmm. actually you know what I think she is black because I think I remember. I remember seeing in her a previous, yeah, in a previous yeah. uh, event they actually showed her they talking about her. the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, or maybe so, she's just but I mean, I you know, <laughs> her voice could still be white, as in who wrote her dialogue, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, oof, and again, I don't like to get into that too much because black people are not a monolith, and especially as a white person, like you, you say it all you want. I don't like right. saying when a black person sounds white because I'm like, what are they supposed to sound like? Let them sound like however they want. That right. said, if you're going to go there, you know, let them have their own voice. Like, go there. I mean, even, God, even Dan Hauser let fucking black people write the dialogue for San Andreas. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> um, so, anyways, I think Forspoken looks great. I'm really excited about it. Uh, yeah, Ghostwire Tokyo got a new trailer with some more gameplay. I think we've already seen a lot of it, but... Mm -hmm. It continues to look interesting. I love the horror mm -hmm. aspect of it, to be honest. I don't see raised uh, eyebrows. It's you... it's 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 on my radar mm -hmm. for sure, but it it just kind of reminds me of like Bioshock, same, Dishonored, same like Death it, Loop. It, it it might yeah, Death Loop. I'm increasingly like less excited about. The more they, the harder they push it, I'm like, why are you pushing it so hard? Uh, can we can we talk about that for me? I feel like they're pushing it so hard because they basically have two black leads. They're like, look at us, we've got black people in our game. You think so? Come by our game, I don't, man. I just it it's the same fucking thing as the gameplay and everything is the same as Dishonored. Yeah, there's even like Which some of the bad. special. There's no, I know, but game. like if you're, gonna, okay, make, you if you're gonna make a new game, make a new game. Mm -hmm. But like I saw in that trailer that he used a I don't know, let's just say a spell, a spell that linked three enemies mm -hmm. together, and mm -hmm. then he killed one and it killed all three. And I was like, that was in Dishonored. It's yeah. the exact same thing. <laughs> Literally just reusing like shit. I I don't know, man. I got you. I don't know. I got you. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in All right. <laughs> Tiny Tina's Wonderland finally got a gameplay trailer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Suckers. Yeah. Tiny Tina, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Hey, Ashley, what you playing? <laughs> Tiny Tina. Did you ever used to watch Hey, Ashley, what you playing? Or Hop, as they used to call it? Uh-uh. Look it up on YouTube. You might really enjoy it. So before okay. she became a voice actress... Ashley Birch and her brother, who, you know, worked at Gearbox for a bit, actually, shortly after they, and I think during some of these episodes they shot, they did a bunch of video game themed short skits, and mm -hmm. Ashley was insane, and she used that voice sometimes, too, and they were really funny, but it, the video would always start with her brother running, walking up to her while she's got a controller in her hand, she's sitting in the chair, and he's like, uh, hey, Ashley, what you playing? And she's like, let you know Zelda 2. <laughs> <laughs> So you got to check those out. But 
when I heard her voice acting for Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2, I was like, yeah, she's basically doing her goofy Hey Ashley voice. Right. But it looks fun. I mean, it looks very inventive. They showed a lot of different enemy types. There's guns in it, you know, but there's a lot of fantasy tropes, too. There's probably going to be a lot of jokes. I know some people are really into the Borderlands style of humor and others who are not. It's really hit or miss with me. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't even try. I, I have it because I, I, it was like really cheap and I was like, might as well have it. But I haven't even tried Borderlands 3 because I was so burnt out on 2. Uh, but this is enough of a, a breath of fresh air that I might check it out, especially if it gets decent reviews. It's not a day one for me, but I'm, I'm eyeballing it, right? Yeah. I'm you probably think? not going to play it. I'm okay. probably not going to play fair, it just fair. because I haven't played Borderlands. Like, the first and the second game I played like halfway through the second game, but they just, I don't know, they just don't do it for me anymore. That's fair. That's fair. All right, and then Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy are going to get a PS5 and a PC release, which I know is exciting Ooh, yeah. to a lot of people, and that's early 2022. Now, early 2022, is it like March 2022, maybe? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but Tiny Tina, by the way, that's March 2022. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I forgot. Forspoken, spring March 2022. 2022. You know you oh, know what man. month is uh, during spring sometimes? I think, I think. Was it uh, March? August? <laughs> no, that was March. Was it August? So, March is like packed, dude. All right. And then, ooh, this one, when I saw this, I was like, this is 100% Derek. Project Eve. Revealed yes. with gameplay. Mm, wow. Don't you love a reveal with gameplay? Don't you just love a reveal with a... And, and man, they showed a lot. They showed a lot of, of fights, boss fights, cutscenes, traversal, and, and different enemy types, set pieces, design... Uh, shiny green booty, lots mm-hmm. of shiny green booty. Uh, they are that camera was up her ass. I think I saw her yeah, uterus at one point. <laughs> but um, I mean it. You know, nice uterus, lady. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was horny cam or if it was like more celebratory bayonetta. I'm leaning towards horny cam. But I mean, Japan. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> but the game looks solid. Like the gameplay looked really amazing, and I was, I'm, I'm into it. That's one I'm, you know, I'm of all the single player action games, that's like in the top three or five. I'm looking at. Oh yeah. So, good stuff there. And then a little so- like very very short trailer. But this is why it interested me. Did you see the trailer for Kid Amnesia? Or Kid Amnesia, but with the A, like, split from the other yeah, two words. Yeah, I just, after it went off, I was like, what the fuck? Right, and <laughs> and it said that uh, Radiohead was working with Epic Games to make it, and you heard, like, Radiohead singing in the background. And the yeah. only reason why that stood out to me is Radiohead is uh, my wife's favorite band. Oh, okay. uh, Yeah, yeah, so I thought, she's just, Maybe. like, as a musician, she just really respects them as musicians. She loves their compositions. Mm-hmm. And I thought, man, if they're making a game and it's like based off their music or whatever, that's huge for fans. You know what I mean? Right. But again, maybe we got she'll zero play details. <laughs> yeah, maybe she'll play it. I don't know. But speaking of weird shit, then after that, or I, I don't know if I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing these in order. <laughs> but right. sometime during the presentation, we got the final confirmation of rumors that have been flying all over the place. Alan Wake remastered. Yay. And it's coming out real soon. October 5th. Yeah. On a PlayStation I, console uh, for the first time ever. Yeah. And it's a PS4, PS5, Xbox, and PC that they're releasing remastered. I'm probably going to pick this up. I It sucks. I just recently got Alan Wake on 360 not too long ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, it is what it is. It's going to do what it do. It's going to do what it do. And then uh, speaking of games that used to be Xbox exclusive... At the very beginning of the presentation, they just dropped it. It was like, Kabow! Star Wars! Knights of the Old Republic Remake! I'm yeah. not even going to say arguably. I'm just going to say it definitively. The best Star Wars game of all time. Being yeah. remade from the ground up on PS5. Now, some speculated that this was a PS5 exclusive, but I never say that unless I see that motherfucking word exclusive on the screen. If it just says for PS5, to me, that's one of two things. Either it's a timed exclusive or it's not exclusive, but they ain't trying to give anybody else like their day in the sun. Exactly. In this case, it's a timed exclusive. It looks like it looks to be confirmed an exclusive at launch, whatever that means. So uh, Series X players, possibly PC, and that's always up in the air. But Series X at the very least. Your day will come. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, Now, 
the last few stories are probably some of the most hypest. Let's get into Marvel. Mm, Specifically Insomniac Marvel. The best kind of Marvel. I think they showed off Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't care. I'm not talking about that. They did. Who cares? That's square. Who gives a shit? Spider-Man 2. Ooh. Spider-Man 2. Trailer was great. We didn't get any gameplay, but, I mean, we could see Spider-Man's there. Miles Morales is there. We got narration from gotta be Craven the hunter gotta, gotta be. be gotta be some cool shit and at the very end we hear another voice very familiar voice and from the shadows we see a we... faint glimpse of a face <laughs> exactly venom is showing up we already <laughs> yes, yes. We, will. we will um <laughs> amazing amazing like i'm so awesome. excited. so he's voice Venom is being voiced by Tony Todd. And for those of you who don't know who that is, that's the original Candyman actor. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. So, he has good, a great good. voice. He has a great yeah. voice. Yeah. Now, from the design, is this the Eddie Brock Venom or is this the Scorpion Venom? Okay, so spoilers for Spider-Man on PS4 if you have not played it. This is the Harry Osborn Venom. The Harry Osborn Venom. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Because if you, yeah, cause, I mean, you knew this, right? Well, I saw the stuff at the, like the teasers at the end, but I didn't know necessarily that that was for that sure. That it was going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's definitely going to be Harry. There's been iterations where Harry has been Venom, mm. so it's not something they're just making up new for this, but it's going to make it, I think, way more interesting than having, say, a Eddie Brock be Yeah, because the Venom. emotional connection's already been built up. I mean, uh, albeit off camera. But mm-hmm. through the missions that you do for Harry Osborn's like labs throughout the city and then like their history and the dialogue between him and Mary Jane talking about Harry and all that stuff, there's going to be an emotional core to this. So yeah. it's going to be interesting yeah, to see how that plays out. But it's not coming out till 2023. 2023. <laughs> I can Ooh, wait. It's so far away. I can wait. It's fine. We got, we got God of War to keep us warm at night. Mm. Or keep us cold. Keep us cold. <laughs> But one more thing before we hop off of Marvel, and this made me super happy. One of my favorite video game superheroes to play as, and one of my favorite kind of superheroes ever, is the little short, angry Canadian man at five foot four, hair all over the body, and claws. He loves a good stogie. We're talking about Wolverine. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a teaser trailer did you notice eagle-eyed viewers noticed this that he was in the princess bar no i didn't notice yeah his known hangout something that was referenced in falcon and the winter soldier during that series oh cool yeah i thought that was pretty neat but yeah they show the bars torn up there's blood people are laying around looking you know like they got their asses kicked he's at the bar drinking he's got blood on his knuckles somebody approaches him the claws come out marvel wolverine in the corner you see insomniac and you're like yes it's not square Ooh, enix yeah. yes <laughs> so, and i was talking to you about this earlier in the week i hope this does really well and i hope insomniac just continues to pluck individual marvel characters for their own spider-man style game because i mean it's not going to be a high bar to clear i think it was much harder to do it with spider-man to make the definitive spider-man game because I haven't met a single person that's into Spider-Man games that would even try to dispute that Marvel Spider-Man is the best Spider-Man game of all time. Immediately. Immediately. Right. Far and away, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, well, Spider-Man I mean, 2 is the best on PS2. Oh, no, shut up. No, no, shut up. no, 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 no. I mean, even the guy that developed that game, he got a chance to play Marvel Spider-Man. He was like, this is better. This is what we were going for. At the time, we were limited right. by technology. The be- I mean, there's been good and bad Wolverine games or good and bad games with Wolverine in them. The best, in my personal opinion, will probably still be the one inspired by the bad movie X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh-huh. So that one, which I recently played on Monday Night Brawlers, but that one for 360, the uncaged edition, the mature edition, to me is the best Wolverine game. And I oh, hope that sure. this game is going to be mature, too. It has we'll- to be. We'll see how that goes i hope it will be there was a, a quite a bit of blood on that bar so i don't know what that yeah. means but uh we'll, we'll see how it goes but i have every faith that insomniac will take and no shade against raven but will blow raven's game out of the fucking water yeah like i think it'll they will be lead the us out of the darkness game. yeah 
the last thing to show up, something that you called an audible on last week, but you're not the only one. I mean, who in their right mind would do a showcase right now and not talk about it or show anything? But we got a, a pretty beefy trailer for God of War Ragnarok with mm, gameplay. With a bunch we love of a good gameplay boys. trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just got to know, man. I mean, I don't think we discussed this at all, but I know this is one of the ones you're looking forward to the most. I mean, what you think? I'm, yeah, it's it's more God of War. Yeah, not necessarily. It, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't necessarily look a whole lot better but that game already looked amazing Mm -hmm. at the time of release on a a base ps4 so it's kind of like you know what are you what are you gonna do it's coming out for ps4 as well so that's probably why it's not looking as crisp and ps5 as as it should but honestly when you get down to it if you've got great gameplay and a good story you've got me and it it looks great anyway like the graphics are amazing so there's no Mm -hmm. lacking on that front but oh man this trailer they showed a lot they did they did. And that story, and afterwards they actually showed some artwork stills of some of the characters, and we got our first look at Thor, and he's a beefy boy. He's a beefy boy. He's a big boy. He's got the the beer belly and everything. I was like, okay. Yeah, he looked like he might Let's be one of them go. jackass boys. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm Thor, and this is swinging a hammer at your face. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks amazing. Uh, mm-hmm. We get to see Freya mm-hmm. trying to kill Kratos for what he did in the first game. And yeah. It's good to actually see that take fruition because I was like, okay, but what you going to do really, though, Freya? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. I'm all hopped up on the <laughs> Basically. Um, yeah. I, the God of War from from Norse. Uh, what was his name? Yeah. Tyr. Yeah, or Tyr. And then yep. he ends up showing up. And I love, I mean, I knew it just from the size of his face, but I was like, he's going to stand up and be huge. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not that that means anything to Kratos. He's like, yeah, you're much shorter than most of the guys I've killed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, but no, I just, whew. you see a little bit of traversal and different gameplay elements with the Blades of Chaos, I've noticed. And yeah, he can grapple enemies and stuff. Here and there. But yeah, it's going to be more God of War, and you're, like you said, I'm not mad about that. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be a wonderful adventure. I think it's going to hit just as hard, and they're evolving the relationship between Kratos and Atreus. Atreus is a little bit older, right? He's starting to mm-hmm. challenge Kratos a little bit more. His voice got a little deeper. <laughs> not as deep as Kratos, but he's trying. <laughs> right. So now yeah, I can't I even call him. He's a teenager. Call him boy. <laughs> have to call him young man. <laughs> young man. <laughs> boy? <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> what happened to you boy <laughs> growing up so yeah it was uh overall i mean i left some stuff out that who gives a shit i mean no i'm you know to be fair i left some stuff out and there were probably some games i left out that would be of interest to other folks i saw some cool things here and there even some new stuff that i left out but just wasn't really on my radar so i think it's a showcase worth looking up and then just fast forwarding through the bits that you're not interested in and that's kind of how yeah. I watched it because I started it like a half hour late. So I was able to fast forward through a lot of it. Like the whole death loop thing. I was just like, you skip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was it was great. They put together a great showcase. It was very exciting. And I'm super pumped for a lot of these games. So Yeah, me too, man. I can't, can't wait. Can't wait. 